Hi guys, welcome back. So today I am planting sweet peas. You just saw me getting water, soaking my sweet peas, labeling them, and that was actually 24 hours ago. So it's really important. You wanna soak your sweet peas 12 to 24 hours before you plant. Do you have to? No, you don't. Will you still have success? You very well could. I know a lot of people who don't soak their sweet peas beforehand and their sweet peas germinate just fine. I like to soak mine just a little bit because their outer shell of the seed is very hard. So soaking it for 12 to 24 hours beforehand just helps the seed germinate in the long run, I feel. So like I said, you don't have to, but I highly recommend it. So these have been soaking for 24 hours. Um, I have, I got all my sweet peas from Floret and the different varieties I'm growing in a sense, three different varieties, but two of these are mixes. So I'm gonna have lots of different mixes of color. So Sweet Pea Promise is a very lovely, it's got like a light pink and a fuchsia pink and some whites in there. I think it's just happy in spring. The next one that I am planting is the Grower's Choice Cocoa Mix. And this has a similar to the Promise, but it's a little bit darker shade. So I think it, they said that it has some like chocolatey blend, some deeper plum, still have some white. And then the next one that I'm growing is Nimbus, which is kind of like a grayish, stormy color is the best way I can describe it. And it also reminds me very much of the amazing gray poppy. And I'm growing those as well, which I just planted out in the snow. So if you want to see that video, I will link it down below or you can click up in that corner at the eye. But pretty much I'm just going to start planting. Now sweet peas have a very vigorous root system, which makes sense. They're growing so tall up <laughs> in the air, they need a nice root system. So it's recommended to sow them into root trainers or four inch pots, something that has a little bit more depth to it than just your single planting cells. So I got root trainers from Gardener's Supply. I'll link it down in the description box below. Um, so I'm gonna be sowing it into these. I got two packs, although I only need one for today. So these are the root trainers. It comes with a stand to hold the root trainers in. It comes with a clear lid um, to help your seeds germinate. And then these are the root trainers and I like it because they just fold together like so, they fold together like this. And then uh, when it's time to plant, you just open it back up and it's super easy to get your plants out. That way you're not damaging, damaging any of your roots. And then they just pop right in. Okay, so I'm just going to finish folding these together, placing them in the stand. I'm going to fill them with my seed starter mix. Very important, whenever you are starting seeds, use seed starter mix because it's light and fluffy and it allows the roots to grow into it easier than using heavier potting mix or garden soil. Okay, I am starting with the Promise Sweet Pea. And I'm just sowing one seed per cell. I covered them with a layer of topsoil. I'm just going to water these in and place these under my grow lights and then hopefully we will see seeds of start to emerge within two weeks. So if you want to see updates on these and all the other things that I have planted, please follow along. I would love to have you join the family. And thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, 
or questions about starting sweet peas, please leave them in the comments below. Let me know if you're growing sweet peas this year and what your favorite variety is, and I will see you next time. Bye.